Good morning. Welcome to Craft Round the Clock. Welcome to Hump Day. I'm Sheila with Sweetie's Creations and Decor. And you're watching me live right now. But if you replay today, put the exclamation mark or point, whichever one you want to call it, the word replay. And that way I'll send you a little note for replaying today. Come on in. Welcome everybody. Get us over here. It's a little dark still outside here, so if I look a little dark, I'm sorry. It's the it's the window comes in here, and it's a little bit dark this morning. So good morning. Hey, Mary Snyder. Good to see you today. Welcome on in. Y'all, we love Silent Watchers, but y'all make sure that you drop us a hello or a heart. And let us know that you're watching today. Good morning. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Bonnie. Welcome on in. Okay, y'all. Mr. 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 Not Nice is not letting us on this morning. So let's go all the way back out. Maybe to make him happy today. Good to see you. Hey, Tracy. Good morning, sweet friend. All right, y'all. Come on in. Here we are. Okay, got us, got us. So, for my chat bot, it's exclamation mark commands. I have not been able to put that in. It's got, it, the way that it's got it, it doesn't even let me go into my own. But that is exclamation mark commands. That'll give you all my commands today. And, hey, Mary. Hey, both Marys. Good to see you this morning. Come on in. So, y'all are going to use this frame. And um, had a little beads at the end, and I just filled that in, and I'm just going to paint over that. I went ahead and put a coat on the bottom of my primer, which is called Undercover Primer, and hoping to cover up that writing there. But once we get our print on here, I don't think it's going to really show, but we're going to go ahead. I used a coat of that primer, and now we're going to use a little bit of the um, Dick, uh, Paint Pixie Saltwater Taffy saltwater taffy and this is just a little sample I have. Good morning from East Alabama Miss Nancy. Hey Samantha. 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 Good to have you today. Good morning. Okay hold on y'all. This glue is just alright. I'm going to fix that glue a little bit right there. So we're going to use the saltwater taffy and just put some white on here on top and hopefully that's going to give it a good cover. I'm about to run out of this paint so I've got to get me some more. I'm just going to take my sponge and put it on. I want to kind of cover up this writing so we can reuse the surface. Anytime you go to any of these stores, um, the Dollar Tree sometimes has surfaces like this or Big Lots Dollar General, any of those places, and you find these surfaces, don't worry about what's on them because you can paint over whatever's there. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a quick paint. And I think our... And sometimes it's a little harder because it depends on the surface. And this is kind of a little, little bit of a slick surface, so we may have to put a couple of coats, but we'll go ahead and get that on. It's not really going to show that much because we're going to be putting the other on top. But let me get a little bit of this. I'm going to put a little bit of this out on my palette. It's about empty. I'm going to have to order that color. Sometimes I just uh, I am on for Josie some during the week. So she just goes ahead and gives me some samples sometimes to get by. All right, y'all, we may have to touch that red back up on there because we're going to paint our frame red. And I'm going to use this cute print from Reba Rose Creations today. There we go. And we may have to get a little bit more in there, but we'll get it. That was some kind of fuzz on there. Got that off. Okay, we'll go back to that. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Sheila Ann. Good to see you today. Hey, Irma. Good morning. Hey, Choose Joy Crafts and Creators. Hey, Lisa. Good to see you. 
Hey Denise, my sweetheart. How are you today from Doodle Doodle Denise Designs? <clears throat> Y'all, if you see my friends on here and there's a little blue light writing right next to them that says follow, that means that you're not following them. So give them a follow because we've got some great friends on here today. Y'all, I did not get my new wipes. That's okay. I got a paper towel. We'll be all right. I don't mind a little paint. Good morning. Good to see you. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and we're going to paint the frame red. I just thought the red would be really pretty. And you can still use that into wintertime. So don't feel like you have Christmas things that you can only use in December. Go ahead and use them through wintertime. And then in February, if you want to add some red, more red in with Valentine's, you can do that. So that I love that season because you can just push that red all the way through there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take red, and here's our beautiful print we're using today. This is called the Snowflake Highlander. Snowflake Highlander isn't... I'm going to say that's a girl. It could be a boy or a girl. I'm going to say it's a girl with that cute little berries in her hair. We're going to make it look like a girl. How about that? I like it. I love cows. I love Highlander cows. They're some of my favorite. Um, I know. I wish I had a farm. I'd love to have some. They're so cute. Hey, other Sheila. Good to see you. Hey, Dana. Okay, we are using the candy apple. And this is the really red color. <clears throat> there's two reds. There's this one, and then there's another one that's got... It almost looks like a little pinkish, but you can mix it with other colors, and it makes it look almost a... Um, a more color that you have. It, it, sometimes you have the more different colored red, um, trying to, uh, a vintage type red. So <clears throat> this one looks like it's got a little pink in it, but once you mix it with a little brown, it really makes a beautiful vintage red. See how it's a little bit darker and this is a little brighter? So you could use either one of those reds. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I got the frog in the throat today. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get my brush. We're going to paint this frame. I went ahead and painted some of the inside because y'all know that's the hardest when you were painting red or black. It's a, they're hard colors to get exactly right. And sometimes you have to just be careful with them because they will your brushes and everything need to be put in water as soon as you get through using uh, dark, the dark colors because it will stain your brush <clears throat> and then it's harder to get out. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I've got the frog this morning from the weather change. You know, I was at the beach last week in the salt air. We come get back. <clears throat> Now, I will say I had, you know, we both had a little trouble down there because ragweed was everywhere. So, there's a lot of ragweed down there, too. But we got the best sinus um, air there. If you go to the beach and you, the salt air is awesome for uh, your body and awesome for your um, sinuses. So, it really does help. But then you wake up some mornings and that's just the way it is. If you live in the South, you would certainly understand. Some people say, oh my goodness, I don't know how y'all can take that heat. But I tell you, it's better than shoveling snow, I'll just tell you. <laughs> I want to shovel snow. <clears throat> we don't get a lot of snow here. We'll get uh, every once in a while. We might have a little bit. Hey, Grace, good morning. I know I haven't seen you in a little while. I'm glad that you're back. I hope that you're feeling well and things are good. Good to see you. The uh, We get a, a dusting of snow sometimes. It's very rare that we get snow. And if we do, it's usually a dusting. We've had a couple of times that we had um, some snowstorms. And that pretty much closes the city. Um, if it's ice... It's going to close the city. So our cities close up here because we don't have that equipment. People go, uh, laugh about it, but we don't have the equipment. But it's not really something they keep. Uh, they do have some sand trucks, and they do have those available. 
when, to use on the interstate, things like that, to keep the uh, ice down because you cannot see that black ice. Uh, they tell people to stay at home. Some people have a job where they're not allowed to stay home and they have to be there, like at the hospital or a doctor and things like that. So they have to be on the roads. So they try to get it where they can kind of... And then if the interstates are really bad, they'll just close them. They'll just uh, close them at each entrance and not let people on. And then they'll just have to go the back roads. But <clears throat> that's about all we get here is some ice. And that happens usually um, maybe once or twice. But you know to be prepared... You need to have a generator and you make sure you got some food and some non-perishable food if they are. Now, I'm telling you here, it's so funny, y'all. As soon as they say uh, the, that we might get some ice or snow and that we might, you know, it may have an accumulation, everybody runs to the store and gets milk, bread, and eggs, mostly milk and bread. Okay, if your power goes out, your milk's no good. <laughs> But you always want to have bread and some peanut butter. How about that? Bread and peanut butter. We always have peanut butter, and we always try to have some kind of bread here, or crackers. And that way we can survive. We did buy a generator a couple years ago to have, and we have had to use it because we have had, um, live in an older neighborhood, and every time there's some kind of ice or snow on the trees, it usually knocks something out here. And we have old transformers they're supposed to switch out, so the transformers kind of cause that issue. <clears throat> so that's looking good. I'm going to go ahead and dry some of this, and then we'll get to the sides. That'll be a little easier. Go ahead and touch that up in a couple places. Sometimes you have to go back with red. You just don't ever know. This is a great coverage paint. I love this paint. It's great coverage. It goes on really, really well, and usually with just one coat. Hey Donna, hey Lori. A little crazy there. You still you're in North Carolina, Grace. I forgot about that. It will, you know, it just it hurts my heart so bad. I've been to North Carolina all my life. We always went up to the Smoky Mountains. We went to um <clears throat> up to um Gatlinburg, all those places growing up, that was our favorite place to go. We always loved to go to the mountains. Um, uh, my mom would just be so devastated if she was still here and, I, and um, because of the beauty co beautiful country up there and the, and the people are so nice, y'all. If you ever go that way, the people are just so nice in those towns and so polite. Um, the food is good. It just really, really, it's it's been hard because that's somewhere I wanted to take. My husband is not from here, and I really wanted to take him up that way. We had talked about it before the storm, um, and I've never seen a hurricane go that far. So I just pray for all those states, y'all. North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, Florida. Florida's still cleaning up. Um, there was a lot of people... Um, where we were, for, we were in Alabama, but there was a lot of people still there from um, Florida. Um, a lot of people still in all the hotels and all the things around that they can get to. That's the direction I probably would have <coughs> tried to go. But um, we have a lot of we have a lot of people still in Birmingham, and. Um, a lot of people can't go home yet. They can't get to their homes. Uh, there was so much devastation. There's no roads. Hey, Cynthia. Uh, it's cold enough there where you can just put your milk in the snow. I've seen that. Um, I saw this uh, one time there was uh, some people. That, now, my grandparents did that if it ever snowed. They lived in the country, so sometimes they got more snow than we did in the city. And... Um, my grandma would set things out there, and uh, I forgot one time, I don't remember if it was her or her neighbor, some animal got into their milk. <laughs> they were so mad. And I can't remember now if it was her or if it was the neighbor, but the uh, something got into the milk, uh, probably a possum, something like that, possum or a, or a raccoon or something. 
opened it and drank it all. So, but they used to use the snow if they had snow like that too. Okay, y'all, let's get the sides now. I'm loving this red. It's going to be pretty. I think one coat will do, but we'll look. Sometimes you have to put two coats. But this does go on really well. I like I like the way that this paint is. It works really well. We're not going to worry about the back side. I can always go back and do that. We're just going to paint this. And I thought about another color, but I thought that red would really pop this print. <clears throat> it's from Reba Rose Creations. And I have my link there in the comments. And welcome to any of my Reba Rose friends that are on today. Reba has some gorgeous, gorgeous prints. She just came out with some more Christmas. Um, use my link. Go and check it out. You will love, love, love her prints. She has some different prints than you may have seen before. I love, I love all the decoupage. I just love to decoupage. It's just one of my favorites because it just makes something look so pretty. And you can take those um, A3s and put them in a frame and have a beautiful, beautiful print framed. I've got one on my board, a big one behind me. Um, I still want to put some corners on it. I've got to add some molds. And that will be a beautiful print to put on the wall. Okay, y'all, we're almost through with the painting. The painting takes a minute. That's why I went ahead and did that inside, because I didn't want to paint the whole time we're on. Okay, we may have to touch up our paint a little bit on the edges inside. I think we're looking good. So let me get this other brush and see if we can get just a couple places right in here. You know, sometimes it's hard to paint exactly straight when you are doing a box. <clears throat> yeah, I did not have any molds poured. I looked for some to put on this. I've got to... I am waiting on my pixie dough to come in. And that's what I usually make them out of. Pixie dough is by the same paint pixie company. And it's uh, very flexible. Holds its where you can bend it on things, and so I will probably add some of those once that comes in. I've used all mine. Okay, I think we're going to go with it, y'all. We can always touch up a little bit later. I'm going to go ahead and get this done. I'll show you what we have so far. Let me see. I see a little place right here. You're going to find places, too, that, you know, you, I don't know why, but you... You'll be looking and you'll like, I know I painted that, but that's the way a dark color does. It's normal that sometimes you've got to go back over a few places. Hey, Cindy from Cindy's Creation. Hey, Lisa from Junk to Joyful. Y'all go follow my friends now. These are my Craft Round the Clock sisters, and we all support each other. We are a big community, and we love everybody so don't think that we are not involved with other creators that are not craft around the clock because we definitely are and love all of our friends okay y'all let me get a little bit of that i'm gonna put a little bit right in here i'm drying this is a that'll help those edges just a little bit a little bit of extra paint right in there so I think it's going to cover it up without a problem. <clears throat> Isn't that a pretty red? It is. Uh, it's called Candy Apple. Candy Apple. The cutest little thing. Hello. Hey, Becky. It is, Lisa, isn't it? I'm going to tell y'all, if y'all don't know Miss Tracy, you see Tracy uh, when she does her lives. But she is the sweetest, sweetest lady She's always trying to help other people, always trying to get do things that are different for us to share with you and some different kind of crafting. And so this Friday is 
books. So we're going to be doing books this Friday. No telling what we'll be coming up with with books. I'm going to tell you, some of these people have a really crazy imagination and make all kinds of things. And um, I've made several books. I love to use the books. Now, some my husband gets upset because he loves books, and he doesn't. And I'll say they're old books. Usually, either they can't repair them, or um, you know, you find them at a yard sale, something like that. You can get them at the dollar store, and um, sometimes I read them and then use them. And it'll be some book that's not really that great, but glad that you can repurpose them into something. So here's our red. Isn't that pretty? It is a beautiful color. Get our cow on here. Hey Patty, good morning. Hey Jeanette. Jeanette's Twin Creek Creations. Hey Hey, Wacky Jackie. Hey, my sweet friend. Okay, and I see a couple places I'm going to go back and get. I'm going to let this dry really well, and then I'm going to go back and touch up the inside of the frame. I usually go back and have to touch up a little bit. Got to be careful with your reds, blacks, anything like that. They do. Sometimes you have to put an extra coat just because of the pigment that's in them. Hey, Pamela. Thank you. Hey, Debbie. Hey, sweet friend. Good to see you this morning. Debbie, come in on your page. That's Secondhand Treasures. That's our friend Debbie. Debbie, uh, we've been guesting on Debbie's page. She has been out a little while, had some surgery. She's doing really, really well. I'm telling you, it's just amazing what they can do these days. Um, it's 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 just amazing the th how quickly that you can have a surgery and come back and she's doing really really well y'all be sure and go give her a follow and go to her if you um go to some of her go to some of her videos and go replay cuz she really would appreciate that see one little place right here y'all it's bothering me so I'm gonna go ahead and touch that up just a little bit right in there there we go it always it looks like I look like a third grader or something's trying to paint sometimes or maybe not even that they're probably paint but just like a kindergartner because it, it, it looks terrible but you always can even it back up so we kind of let your paint dry Hey, Crystal, how are you today, friend? I hadn't seen you in a while. Are you going to be teaching a painting class soon? I haven't looked at the calendar on the Senior Center. Hey, Barbara. Yes, Crystal is my friend. If y'all uh, live in the Birmingham area, she teaches paint classes. And is awesome, sweetest lady. Y'all will love her. Her and I became friends instantly. <laughs> she speaks more southern than I do, but she is a cutie, and she makes the cutest things. She has a has a place that she sells her paintings, and um, so we so glad to see you today. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I think we're about through drying here. Okay, let's see which I'm going to see. It doesn't really matter which way is my top. Now, I painted right over. I'm not sure which side. I am going to touch that back up a little bit where I fixed the holes, but it has some little holes where it had some beads hanging on it. And I put some um, wood filler in there, and you can't even really tell which side it was. I think it's this one up here because I can see the writing. So that did really, really well. Yeah, I see it just a little bit. Okay, y'all. Now we're going to use our force field. And this is just some decoupage medium. Yeah, Jackie, wacky Jackie, she's she's a mess. If y'all have never watched Jackie, you will be in hysterics by the time she gets through. <laughs> she, 
She is crazy. Now, Jackie loves to tell squirrel stories, and she lives somewhere else, and the squirrels, every time she put something on her porch, the squirrels would get it. I'm talking about destroy it, y'all. She couldn't keep anything on her porch at all. And it's funny, but it wasn't funny because, you know, she had nice her had nice arrangements out there. Grab your coffee. Grab your coffee, your tea, whatever you need this morning. I am needing coffee. I I got up early. I got up when the husband got up for work. Now hold on, I'm looking for my sponge here. All right, now I'm gonna put some force field on here, and this is just this is a a water based decoupage medium. Goes on really well. This is also by Paint Pixie. I like to use a lot of her, most all of her products. I love, and I like it because it's not got a real. It's got a little bit of an odor, but not a strong odor, and it's water based, so it goes on really easy. And I know it looks thin, but it does work really well. And it's a satin, so it's not going to be any problem if you get it outside of where your print's going to go. Y'all, I don't know what these little fuzzies are today. These little fuzzies. Okay, you want to put a good coat on there so it'll have a good adhesion. That looks pretty good. You can kind of see in the light. Uh, but this is the soft satin finish, so it's not... Y'all know I don't like shiny on the edge of mine. So, I'm going to let that sit and just get a little tacky a minute. And we'll go ahead and get our, go ahead and get our rest of our paper off of here. So, so excited to see everybody today. Hey, Branya. Branya will be on later today. So, y'all be sure and check that out. Hey y'all. So it has been a joy to help on Debbie's page. Debbie is the sweetest, sweetest person and she would do it for you in a heartbeat. She, we all try to help each other, y'all. You'll see that happens on a lot of our pages. If somebody's out sick, um, if somebody had surgery or any reason, uh, we've got some, you know, some people that have been in the storms. Um, and we are glad to help on their page because they can't go on. They have no internet, no power. So we're all trying to help one another, and that's what it should be. When you're in a group, that's the way it should be. You should be a group that helps other people. And um, So if you see some of us on somebody else's page, give, give us a follow and also support that page uh, because we still have some people. Now, everybody's checked in from Florida. But we have some people that are still affected in that area. A lot of watchers. Um, a lot of our viewers hadn't been able to watch. And, um, you know, we don't even know if some of them are okay. We want to continue prayers. Y'all, it's going to take a long time to build back. I know when, when a couple of years ago the hurricane hit um, Panama City. And, uh, I think it was 2020 when that bad one came through can't remember. My brother and them had just moved to the beach and a, and those hurricanes came through. My cousin lives in Panama City and she had a tree come through her uh, side of her house and it took a long time because they didn't, the people are so busy fixing everybody's houses so they just had to come over and put a tarp um, you know then you don't feel very secure or anything else with your window shattered and so it, it's a very very stressful time as well for people that have damage and it takes a long time and they're still fixing a lot of things even four years later they still have things to fix in some of these cities so it takes quite quite a long time yes if you missed my print this is snowflake highlander snowflake highlander in isn't she cute? Yes, Kathy, thank you so much for prayers. Good morning. Okay, let's put our little print in. I think we got... Oh, yeah, that white's going to cover up. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Let's see. Uh, let me... Let me eye it a minute. 
I just love this print. I have to have all the Highlanders. I think I've got them all. And this one will go up for Christmas. Okay, yeah. I think we got it pretty close. I kind of have to look at it a minute. All right. And then you can take your brush and kind of pat it on the edge if you want to. I'm going to put a little, I'm going to put a little seal around there as well. You can pat it in or you can take and y'all this is just a bag I have for something else. I don't know where my little one is. And you can just take your middle and just spread it out with a bag. That's going to move your decoupage medium. So I'm going to put that and put that other right around the edge here. And I just like to go around the edges and go ahead and do that part. Now you can seal it. These, if they're going on your wall, unless you have, a, now if you live on like a dusty country road or something like that, that you get a lot of dust, you may want to seal them. I don't always seal mine all the way. I just let the print, as long as it's, you know, and you can still dust them off. You just have to use something very gentle, gently. But mine seem to do okay. So I don't, people say, why don't you seal it? I don't always seal mine, but you can seal it afterwards. And something I kind of like to do if I'm going to seal it is I like the spray, the um, Rust-Oleum Light Clear Spray, and just put just a little quick clear spray on there so it's not so heavy and these edges will dry you will not have a lot of shiny or anything on them with this medium and I like that and then you can take your brush again and just kind of tap you need a nice clean brush I just keep this little brush and you can kind of tap it in and that's going to help with your wrinkles you can iron it just anything that you want to do I really hadn't planned on what we're going to do on top let's see we still got, yeah, we got 15 minutes. We're good. Some of your best neighbors are Highlander cows. Aww. In Arizona, yes, I see them. They're so beautiful. Do they come up, do they come up like regular cows and let you pet their heads and stuff? My grandmother and the granddaddy had a Hereford and some other kind of cow um, as I was growing up. And uh, they were black and white, and then we had some brown and white. And they were so gentle and so sweet. And I thought, oh, my goodness. They, you know, they, they had them for food. And, they, and my brother and I, it would break our heart. We couldn't stand it because they became pets. And uh, we had a bull. Good morning, Brenda. It's getting closer, isn't it, sweetheart? I can't wait to you able to go live again. Oh, my goodness. We've been counting down the days. So y'all go follow my friend Brenda, Totally Together Crafting with Brenda. We're trying to get her page back up. Something happened with her page. She had to get a whole new page. Well, they don't let you go live for 60 days with a new account, even if you've already had one. So y'all please go and follow Brenda and share out her, her videos that she has. We're all trying to help her get back in the swing. Okay, y'all had to touch up a little bit of the red, but I think it looks good. Isn't she cute? I like her too. So I thought about putting a bow on here, but I also have some greenery. And I might use some greenery in here as well. But don't don't trip out now. I'm going to use some diamond dust today. I'm going to diamond dust today, y'all. I am. So. <laughs> yes, we're going to diamond dust a little bit today. We are. And I'm just going to use this same paper so we can kind of just get the diamond dust off of there. So I've got my little glue stuff mixed up. I'm going to put a little diamond dust. You see how it has snow and some little snowflakes in it? And if you don't see, there's a little, you've got a little light right back in here. I think that's a light. See that? Um, it's a little texture in the back. It's either a light or it almost looks like a little house in the distance. Kind of looks like a little house in the distance. So what do y'all think? Diamond dust? Give me a heart. Give me a heart. Give me a heart if y'all think diamond dust. I know everybody's always saying, yes, diamond dust. Yeah, I know I know you love it, Branya. Hey, Julie. 
Oh, you you twisted your leg. Oh, uh, we'll be keeping you in prayer, Julie. Oh, so sorry about that. Okay, let's put a little bit up here. And I'm just using some glue and water, y'all. It's the same thing that my, but I make my own, like, Mod Podge. I don't use a lot of Mod Podge, so I just like to make my own with glue and water. I'm going to put a little bit there. Maybe a little bit up here in her hair. You can always add more. And I just mix it up. Just a little Elmer's glue and water. That's all you need. I like to just make my own. I like these snowflakes. I wish I had some little bitty snowflakes. I really don't. I'm going to look for some. When I go out today to Zumba, I think I will go by one of the stores early and see if I can find some little snowflakes. That would be pretty. That would be beautiful on here. And I'm just going to put some glue some different places just to kind of give it a little highlight. I saw some hearts. Y'all like the diamond dust. Yes. Hey, hey, Jeanette. Hey, Donna. Yeah, everybody's always saying, listen, it's okay for you to be a silent watcher, but I probably will speak to you. That's just a me. I speak to everybody that I can. As I am thankful you are here. Thank you very much for supporting Craft Around the Clock and my page. Maybe a little bit over in here. What we may have to do is put some on there and then see what more we need. I just put a little bit of glue. Y'all, you don't need a heavy glue at all. Just a touch. Just a little touch. And I don't use diamond dust a lot. If it's going to go on the wall, I'm okay with it. Because, you know, people pick things up. Because I create, a lot of my friends come over. They pick things up to look at it and stuff like that. I don't want anybody to get cut on diamond dust. So I don't use it as much as I used to. Oh, we definitely got to have some up here on the branch. And then we'll decide if we what we want to do with the greenery and stuff. I just think the Highland cows, I love the um I love their horns. So we're just going to pour it on. And it's going to t wherever we have glue. And then we'll take it off and you can reuse it. Now, I this is my mine that I use. I don't pour it back in here. I have one that I pour back in in case you do accidentally get some kind of fuzz or something I don't want that in my my good stuff so I will just do it like that I'm gonna pour it right here on this paper towel because you want to reuse it. it does kind of make a mess I have to vacuum after I use it so that it doesn't get in your feet if y'all ever had it in your feet you certainly understand look how pretty it's looking already can y'all see in the light hold on y'all I'm gonna turn this off just a minute Can you see? Look how gorgeous. Yeah, I wanted you to be able to see the diamond dust. Isn't that gorgeous? I think she needs a little more, though. And that glue's going to dry, and it'll dry clear. So it'll dry clear, and it will look great. So let's reuse some of this. That's the reason for using it on the paper towel. Let's put a little bit. Y'all think we need a little bit more? A little bit more? A little bit more in there. That is looking pretty. I love it. A little bit more on her, maybe. Yes, I love some diamond dust. I'm thinking what I may do is just do a bow. I may do a pretty simple today. Make a bow, and I can put some greenery in our bow. We're doing good. A few minutes. I'm going to put her a little bit more here and there. She's got some. A little bit more right over in here because it needs a little bit right in there. And that might be enough. She's got the prettiest face and the little snow is right there on her face. I can always add more, y'all. We can always add more to make it not have too, too much. I like it. I'm liking it so far. Y'all are liking it? Good. Yes, I love to put a little bit on. Let's see, a little bit over in here. 
that's one thing. Now, if you do use diamond dust, pour it back in something that you can kind of filter through <clears throat> because sometimes it will have little things in it. And you can kind of shake it back and forth to get it on there. And then just pour it back out. And I will just save this and I will vacuum when I get off. Because you're going to have some flakes. Now she's looking pretty. Isn't she pretty? Headed to the dentist. Okay, Nina, it's good to see you this morning. Thank you for replaying later. I appreciate you. Okay, y'all, let's put that diamond dust over here. And I've got some on here, so let's take this. Okay. You see how sometimes you get a little paint or something in there? You want to kind of pick that out. Kind of pick that out as you are trying to put it back in your jar. But don't waste it. You can use it. But you can pick those little things out with some little tweezers. We'll just put that right there. Okay, let's plan on... You like it, Nina. Thank you. Thank you. She is pretty, isn't she? Hey, Kelby. Hey, Julie. Yes, I hope everything will be okay at the dentist. I've got to go have a teeth cleaning, but my teeth feel okay. Okay, y'all, I've got a couple of different things for some. And I do have um, a little snowflake out here we might add. We might add a little greenery. These are just some different materials I have. <coughs> I just kind of gathered up some that I have, and some of these were uh, gifted to me. Some of them are gifted to me. This one that we've cut looks like it's been cut just a little bit. Let's take our scissors, cut a little piece of that off right in there. Got a little bit of a edge, and we will just put some of these in. Can y'all see okay? All right. Let me get my string. I think I, is that the string I have? Let me just use a piece of this. You can use twine. You can use um, jute, whatever you have. You can use a piece of ribbon. Totally whatever you have. This is just some of that twine you get from uh, Walmart. Hemp cord. I had found that in my drawer. I like to use it too. Okay, so let's just put our bow in here and get it done. Thank you, Wynn, for spreading the love. Hey, Mary, yeah, y'all be sure and share us out. Share, spread the love, sprinkle, any of those you want to call it, because we definitely, definitely need that to keep us up in where Mr. FB will definitely spread us out. We definitely need that, so we appreciate that. So anytime that y'all can sprinkle us to a group somewhere, we appreciate that. I'm just going to put just some cotton ribbons and different things. This is a beautiful right here. It's got some of the little birds in it. This is a piece that was gifted to me. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. Yes, I have a friend that gifted me some things, and she is the sweetest, sweetest. Okay, y'all. Uh, you can do it either direction. So I can start over here on this side or on the other side. And I'm just going to use a piece of this because I've got I've got a um, another print that I'm going to use that's got the cardinals. So I'm just going to use a little piece of that today because I want to save this other for another with the cardinal. I don't know where she got it and I just love it. Here's another little piece with some little presents. Let's put, let's see y'all, got a little piece of this. Let's put this in between. This was just a little piece that I got. I'm thinking this might have also been um, some from Jubilee Fabrics right here. This just a little stripe. We're going to finish that up because we got a couple of minutes. And then I think we'll put like a Christmas tree either in the corner or, and I'm just going to keep wrapping this. See how I put it down here and made some more loops with it? You can make as many loops as you want. Just keep using it. Use it up. There you go. Let's put a little bit of this red in here. I like this. A little check in there. 
and you can put as much or as little ribbon as you want. Put a little white in here. And it's okay if you don't have enough to make a tail. Thank you for those hearts. Hey, Rita. Yes, just fold it back and forth. It doesn't have to be the same size either. If you run it a little short, just put it in just like that. Easy peasy. Here's a little extra piece there. Put some of that in there. Here's a little piece. This came off of one of those rag rugs. That's a pretty piece. We'll put it in there. And maybe a couple more, and that'll do it. Yes, because we're almost out of time. And I'm going to take... I'm gonna, I am gonna. can finish the bow when I get off. I'm going to put that over there out of that diamond dust. Let's put this piece in real quick. This is a piece of sorry silk, and I will trim that off. I'm going to put, I think, some greenery in my in my bow, some of the little greenery here. And then I've got some other little sparkly greenery. I think I'm going to use that uh, because my time is up. And I may stick a Christmas tree right here in the corner there. I have these Christmas trees, and I've got this one. And I might just stick it on the edge just like that. I think that would be pretty there. So that's what I have for you today. I'll finish the bow. I'll post a picture to Craft Round the Clock. And on my page, thank you for being with me and joining me. Stay tuned for the next creator. And I'm sorry I forgot to look at the schedule. Plus, sometimes it changes. Just bring your screen down if you're in Craft Round the Clock, and you will have the next person. Thank you for being here. Love y'all all. all.